Hey, what's up, guys? Tan Bhaiya for Simple Snippets, and today we are going to be covering a new topic in C++ programming that is pointers. So pointers in C++ are pretty much confusing, and a lot of students have requested to cover this topic because they find it a bit difficult. But to be honest, this is very simple to understand. and we'll see how to go about it we'll see a little bit of theory as well as we'll see the practical implementation and we'll see a small program so let's get started so what exactly are pointers so in simple terms a pointer is a variable so you already know what variables are in c++ and if you don't know you can check out some tutorials from this playlist itself so basically a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable so these variables these pointer variables store address of another variable so what exactly is the use of storing address of another variable so i've listed down two basic uses and generally pointers are not used and they are very application specific but uh, some basic uses as for are listed as follows number pointer allows you to refer to the same space in memory from multiple locations so for example if you create a integer variable say for example int va- variable 1 and the value is 5 and you create two or three different pointers which has the same address of this variable so every variable is having an address and this address is stored in the pointer variables so say for example you create two or three different pointers which have the same address of this variable so you can change the value of the variable using pointer 1 and if you access it using pointer 2 or pointer 3 those changes will be reflected even there so you can use multiple locations to change value of a single variable so this is one use and this would also save some space by being able to share components or share these variable values and typically used in data structures and the second one is dynamic memory allocation so this concept is where you dynamically allocate the memory depending upon the user input so if you have seen the tutorials on arrays we had to predefine the size of the array at compile time or when we actually code and we cannot take the size size of any array from the user and later on declare it so dynamic memory allocation address this is that problem wherein we can take the size from user and then allocate that much space to create an array so we'll see that in further tutorials as well so let's see some practical aspects and let's try to create a program using pointers so open up your dev c++ ide and if you don't have it i'll put the download link and it's better that you actually go ahead and practice it along with me because that is the best way to practice programming and learn programming so i've created a file named pointers.c cpp and i have pasted in the basic template so this is our main function and let's just first create a basic integer variable i'll say int var equals to 5 so the way we go ahead and create pointers is we first type in the data type then the pointer name and to denote that it is a pointer variable we have to use the keyword star so let me just show you an example so here are different types of pointers so the data type shows that this pointer ip will only point to a integer variable again this double dp can point to only a double variable and so on and so forth now every pointer variable has a same size or it takes up same memory that is 2 bytes because it is basically saving the address itself so address space is going to be same so the data type and this pointer star has to be at the start of the name and not at the end okay so we just initialized or created our pointers so now let's store the address of this variable in this int pointer to do that we have to say ip is equal to and to pass the address of a variable we have to use the and keyword or and key and type in the name So what this line of code will do is it will take the address of this variable and store it in our pointer variable. So let's just first print out the variable value by using the variable itself. Let me just save this and we'll go ahead and execute this program. So I'll click compile and run. So as you can see the variable value is 5. I forgot to give a space. Okay so the variable has the value 5 and we'll try to access this value using this pointer so in order to do that we can say c out pointer pointing to value as and to actually get the value to which the address is pointing we have to use the star keyword star and the name so if you just want to see the address you can say c out address in pointer and in this case we don't have to use a star keyword and we'll just use ip that is the pointer name 
so let's see three different values we will say compile and execute okay so let me just first add a new line to every output save this and compile and run so there you go the first variable value is 5 the address that is stored inside the pointer is as you can see 0x6ffe34 so this is a hexadecimal value and this address has the following value that is 5 so this value and this value is the same because the variable address that is the variable that we created where has the address of 0x6ffe34 which is stored inside the pointer so now what we'll do is we'll try to change this value using the pointer and we'll again print these three values so we'll say star ip that is the value stored inside the address should now be changed to 6 and now again we'll print these three values we'll save this and we'll again execute it so there you go initially the variable value was 5 the address in the pointer was 06 ffe4 and the pointer which had some address that is this address was pointing to a value of that variable which was 5 now the next time we change the value using the pointer and we change the value to 6 Now the pointer has the address which is same but the value it is pointing is now changed and it is changed to 6 so we did not use the variable to change the value but we use the pointer itself to change the value so this is how you can manipulate the values of different variables by creating pointers so that's it for this video tutorial and I hope you understood the basics of what exactly pointers are and why they are used. So that was just a very simple program to show how you can use pointers and we'll see some complex programs in further tutorials as well. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.